Hey everyone, it's the detective back again, and as you can see I have my four Helios variants, well not, I, these aren't, this isn't the entirety of my Helios collection, but these are just like the four main versions. If you know me, Helios is my favorite Bakugan, I love him, he's amazing, just his different variants are all pretty good, and some of them, for example, Mutant Helios and Cyborg Helios, I really used to hate, but I they've actually really grown on me. And uh, Viper Helios is great. Helios Mark II is my favorite Bakugan. That might actually change actually this after this video. Is Helios Infinity Helios is the Helios that I've been after. And today, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave them in the back. That's something very special. Well, firstly, there's Infinity Helios, but this is actually a three pack. From the Japanese version of Mectanium Surge. Yeah, the Japanese version. Personally, this was a very, very expensive pack. I'm not going to be sharing the price or how I got it because that is a bit more personal, but this is really, really special. As you can see, it comes with Infinity Helios, it comes with Raisinoid. I actually don't have Raisinoid, so that's also going to be cool. And then it comes with Darkest Spiron up there, which you can't really see, but it's up there. Um, I've already kind of freed the back of it from it. I haven't taken any of the Bakugan out. It's still all sealed up. But I just did that because I actually want to keep this packaging. Uh, it was a little bit bent up in shipping, so it's it's whatever. But as you can see, we have a battle, shoot, pop out. Uh, battle begins when a Bakugan pops out on the same card of an opponent. Uh, let's have a battle adding the Bakugan points to the gate card's effect. And shoot. Uh, shoot a Bakugan aiming for a larger card and pop out when a Bakugan is onto a gate card it pops out instantly Sega Toys advertisement for a little binder down there flip it over Bakugan Mectanium Surge on the side over here three Bakugan and nine cards you can battle by using Bakugan and cards roll and pop out Bakugan to battle on the card all right so, this is it. I've been searching for Infinity Helios for, I'd say, around six months now. Uh, but there's the really cool art of Drago. Uh, I might... Ooh, alright. So, these are the cards, actually. Let's take a look at these, af at these after. Uh, these packs were kind of meant to be, like, starter kits. I'm really hoping that there's, like, a Helios-related card in here. So, I'm just gonna save this. Alright. So, two random pieces of cardboard. Oh, this, is, this one's taped. Oh, Helios gets his own little thing. All right, so <laughs> I'm I'm just gonna take out Helios for now. I'll put this little piece of cardboard back. I'll put this back in. We are just gonna look at Helios. All right, so here he is. I'm just gonna get a look at this off camera. Man, this is really happening. All right, this little plastic piece. Better save that. <laughs> Ooh, and there we go. This is it, my friends. Hoo, hoo, hoo. So yeah, he doesn't appear to be metal. That's a bit unfortunate. But, you know, it's it's not the biggest deal. I honestly don't care at all. Yo. Alright, let's see. Actually, let's open up those cards. Uh, you know what? There's a gate card right there. I'll just pop him out. And here he is. Guys, we did it. Dark Infinity Helios. Yo. Alright, so this is a Japanese version. Now, I was a bit bummed out that I actually learned before I even got this that it doesn't have metal. But, something which I'm even more excited about are the G-Powers. Because these are Japanese Bakugan, so he's going to have some pretty low G-Powers. Alright. There he is. Alright. So he has... 500 Gs, 520 Gs, 540, 560, 640, that is perfect. The highest is 640, that's perfect. 460, alright. See, so it actually kind of clicks and stuff. The little spinner on the top. Alright, so I'm going to fold him up. So the way that you do it, I actually have a Pyrus one, so I kind of know how to do it already. You fold in the head. Like that, pushing the tail, pushing the head, 
click in the arms. Whoa, that there he is. That that's Helios, my dudes. There he is. And yeah, it's kind of lame. You gotta like pull out the head. Honestly, I think that the head should have been spring loaded, but that is crazy. That is crazy. All right. But he isn't even the main focus, like, well, he is the main focus, but he's not the only thing in the video. I'll just pop him down over there. Alright, so I've taken these out of the package. Let's take a look at them, shall we? So firstly, Razor just has a sticker covering the wheel, because he's a big wheel. And he should, he should also have some low G power. Oh, it appears that we have... Oh, there he is, and Spyron just flew out of there. Alright, let's take a look at little Raisinoid over here. Yo, what the heck, his arms are just flailing around. Oh, I was kind of hoping that those would be spring-loaded, but it looks like they're actually manual parts. Yo, there he is, that's pretty sick. Let me just get a closer look at this dude. Yo, he has an opening mouth, that is so cool. Yo, what the heck. What? That's how it folds up? That is sick. These pieces are spring loaded. Alright, 380, 640, 560, 500, 540, 520. I think that's it. Yo, there he is, my boys, Raisinoid. Oh, little manual parts over here. Over there. Let's find out how do you fold him up. I have I've never had a raisinoid, so I I don't actually know how you fold him up. These come down like this, yeah, right. All right. Um. This comes down, yeah. All right. Oh, this isn't that complicated. These these come up. Aha! They come in. You push them in, and then you push them together, and then you just pop this in, right? Oh. There we go. Yes, there we go. There we have it. Oh, come on. No. Oh, yeah, there we go. I just, I really hope that he's not, like, broken forever, but. Alright. Now, this video is already ten minutes. I don't care about this dude at all. He's not even metal. My other one is metal. I'm gonna keep him just because he's part of the pack. 540Gs, nice. But other than that, I don't really care for him. Just cheap plastic. Well, not cheap, but just compared to the metal, these, the tail and the legs being plastic. Alright, let's take a look at this. Ooh, is that an instruction manual I see? Is it sealed on the top? No, it's not. It was just stuck together. Alright, let's take a look. Ooh, Helios. I already see Helios. Alright. Yo, what the heck is this? Yo, what in the world? Is this like a battlefield? Oh my god, it's a freaking battlefield that is sick i'm gonna keep that together um for the time being and oh man helios off the no the gate card is damaged let's hope that that's not a helios card helios it's just helios kind of funny how that's actually a pyrus helios play during a battle get 200 g power if there's a helios in your deck that is op so you don't even have to be using helios i could be using like drago or something and if I have a Helios in my deck, that- Oh, it's bent. That sucks. Dark help. Play during a battle. Add G power based on attribute. Moreover, get plus 250 if there's a Sab Terra in your deck. Yo, Heridian. Play during a battle. Get 150 if there's a blue ability card in your enemy's used pile. Play before you roll a Darkened Subterra or Lumina Bakugan. So that's basically Darkest Subterra or, well, Chaos. Oh, uh, you may re-roll if you miss. Play at the end of a battle. The Bakuyan with the lowest G-Power wins. That is OP. Gold or silver. Yo, that really reminds me of my Baku Gold Wolfurio, because he's actually gold. Play before you roll. Get plus 250 G-Power if the gate card where your Bakugan stands is gold. Get minus 150 G-Power if it's silver. So that's kind of a gamble. Prominence. Uh, Raisin. Oh! Raisin, yeah. Raisin. <laughs> add 50 G power to your... Uh, add G power based on attribute. Jesus, 200. Moreover, get 50 if your Bakugan is Raisin. No! No! Oh, wait a sec. 
I fixed it. It's just, there we go. And it's a little bit bent on the corner, but I was able to fix it for the most part. But that is so cool. Ring of Darkness. Add two, add 50G power based on an attribute. Moreover, get another 50 if your Bakugan is darkest. So, God. 250 to darkest? These cards are freaking OP. There it is. With Infinity Helios, Raisinoid, stupid Spiron. Get to the back, Spiron. You don't deserve to be here. But there we go. So yeah, that's my unboxing and review of this awesome Bakuyama Canyon Surge Pack. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.